Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at a Golden Corral in Dallas, Texas. Yes, Golden Corral. So for those who do not know, the Golden Corral is an American buffet chain specializing in what I call like American food, but I definitely a lot of it has kind of a soul, a little bit of a southern um, you know, kind of aspect to it, but definitely specializing in American food is the best way to put it. So I have a few couple favorite items that I always get here, and some of them we have on this plate. I always get the green beans, I always get the steamed broccoli, I always get the fried chicken and then usually I get the pot roast as well I have a couple like must try items here golden crow there's the pot roast right there the pot roast being one of them the fried chicken being another but I will say I am not sponsored by golden crow or anything like that and as much as I do share love for the corral I'm honest and right now that pot roast was kind of mediocre that's kind of the thing with buffets I find with buffets you you know there can be an item you love you regularly get but just at that moment, maybe it's not super fresh, or you know, it's it's they're about to restock it, so you're getting the end of a tray, or you know, whatever it may be. And right now, that little bit of pot roast was just mediocre. You know, I, I'm happy to tell it how it is, and that's what I was doing. They did have this kind of cucumber, tomato, onion salad with like an Italian dressing, which I really liked. I uh, I really like Italian dressings, and I love vegetables in general. My favorite items uh, when I go to buffets to eat are generally vegetables, fruits, and meats. And that's not only suiting my preference, but I also do feel that's what I get the most value out of. The other item I have here is the catfish, which I had a piece earlier, um, and that is what is on that plate I'm eating off of right now, and I really like the catfish. I absolutely douse it in hot sauce, sometimes I mix a little bit of ketchup on there, and it is my absolute favorite combination. Ketchup and hot sauce, or, ket or, uh, or hot sauce and barbecue sauce, are big, 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 um, let's say favorites of mine when it comes to eating a large variety of different meats. Um, I also got a jalapeno. I find that some of the Golden Corrals feature different items depending where you're located in the United States, such as when you're down south, you'll get a little bit more of a Mexican, like let's say use Texas for example, you get a little bit more of a Mexican food influence where I notice more like tacos and, and uh, grilled jalapenos. Whereas up north, um, I find they uh, kind of like grilled jalapenos and certain items might be a little harder to actually come by. Um, having some of the fried chicken, again, normally a favorite of mine. Um, again, it all kind of depends on how it is, and it was okay. Again, it wasn't. this one wasn't super fresh, but it was a bit better than the pot roast, which I think I got the end of the tray. So, you know, under those circumstances, the best buffet logic, the best way to beat a buffet, I guess you could say, is just try a little bit at the start. Like I had a little bit of fried chicken, a little bit of pot roast, a little bit of, you know, broccoli, a little bit of green beans. Try what you like, find out what's good in the moment, and then just go back for it. And if there's something that, you know, for example, like I just said that fried chicken's kind of cold, and there's something, like I said, that isn't optimal, you know, wait for a new batch. So I was here right about, uh, about like six o'clock. So and while there was definitely other people in the restaurant, I was just in a quieter section that I chose for the video's sake. Um, you know, again, some of the items weren't all being the fresh as they could be. Now, admittingly, again, with the Golden Corral, I've really started to pick up a little bit of, I don't want to say a bias, but a, a finding. I find that some of the newer Golden Corrals, or uh, let's say most, if not all of the newer Golden Corrals, seem to actually produce a better product and have more kind of consistent um, options, maybe more options and more flavorful, or not flavorful, but like hotter, better, fresher, fresher, there's the word, not, not, not flavorful, fresher, have fresher options. And this was an older Golden Corral, but this time when I had the bit of pot roast, it tasted good. It was hot, it was warm, and like I said, I just kind of had to wait for them to put out a new tray of it. Again, if you're at the Golden Corral, the pot roast is definitely a really uh, must-try item. When it's done right, which it normally is, let's say 90% of the time it's done right, it's very, very good. I also had some green peppers and some little like uh, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes or whatever you call them. Both again, vegetables I very much like and enjoy. I love vegetables in fact. And I had them um, with a French dressing, which I also really enjoy. Uh, I like all, all salad dressings more or less, um, but those are just kind of again what I was vibing with in that moment. And I, like I said, I really like to have vegetables, um, just something I enjoy. Plus. You know, when you talk about like money, again, some people say like, oh, eat the expensive items, get your money's worth. Well, again, fruits, vegetables, and meats. Items like pasta and pizza, they're really cheap. You know, like, so I would recommend, you know, if you want to get your quote unquote your money's worth, you know, stick to the items which are more expensive. 
Um, how, here I had some more of the catfish. Again, really loving that catfish. And the nice thing is the way these were creased, I could basically get a puddle of hot sauce. Um, I really like catfish. Catfish is a thing you don't see in Canada. Definitely a thing of the United States more so, and kind of that southern, uh, southern states especially. And just with a little bit of hot sauce, Golden Corral also has a very excellent tartar sauce here. Um, I didn't have any in the moment, but if you like tartar sauce, the Golden Corral tartar sauce is definitely good. But for myself, the catfish with literally a puddle of hot sauce, and like I said, sometimes with ketchup is definitely how I prefer. Now I went and got some more fried chicken. Um, they did put out the new pieces, so I was anticipating that it would be better, where again the last one was kind of cold. and. A little bit a uh, little dry actually um, where this one was definitely looking I mean at least looking a little better but again that once I kind of dove, dove into it um, I was identifying that eh, maybe it's not as great as I hoped it was better than the first one for sure but it wasn't quite as juicy as I found a lot of like my normal fried chicken is at the Golden Corral so again I'm not sure if Maybe this the batch was sitting there a little longer than I anticipated or that I identified even though I thought this was new or perhaps it was simply just that the individual cooking it was kind of maybe cooking it a little longer. Um, I don't really know what the circumstances were, but again, we were, you know, I, the fried chicken is one of my favorite items and under normal circumstances it is very good. Usually it's very tender and juicy. Again, this being a little less slow, so admittingly, but nonetheless. Um, and then of course I had some more of my favorite green beans. So these green beans here are cooked with a pork and it is definitely one of my favorite, um, or I'd actually say it is my favorite cooked vegetable available at the Golden Corral. The pork um, aspect is, you know, it's kind of like a, I'd say they're kind of cooked in like a pork broth. That's kind of how I'd put it. There are little pieces of pork in there, but most it's like the broth, just adding a nice flavorful kind of salty-ish aspect. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, so now today for this buffet, I wasn't trying to crush it. I basically was just getting all my food uh, for the day in one meal. So this was uh, during my trip on a day where I was not doing any challenges. Um, so I had just gone to the gym and I just needed to get something to eat for the day. So when I'm doing that, sometimes I'll just go crush a buffet, be my one meal for the day. And uh, that's what I was doing here. So it's not that I'm overly trying to splurge. This is basically just like my one day's food, my day's calories, you know, in one meal. Um, which kind of for like my average, you know, my average caloric day is probably somewhere around like 2600 maybe something like that, give or take. Um, but yeah, so here I had a, a little bit of their sweet potato casserole, which is very good. Again, a very delicious item that if they have, you got to try the sweet potato casserole. It has um, lovely bits of uh, granola, it is marshmallows, it is cinnamon, it is sugar, it is butter, it is very good. I did make a little taco. This had um, the pico de gallo on it. Um, obviously, I just put some hot sauce and then their ground beef. Um, I'm not the biggest, 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 biggest fan of their kind of ground beef mix they have here, but this was good. It was hot, right? So it gets my thumbs up. So, you know, a, a nice little taco. Um, I love the pico de gallo. Again, it's nice and fresh. I love tomatoes, onions, cilantro, all that good stuff. And you know, a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of like ground, their ground beef mix. Hey, I ain't complaining. Again, all you can eat, you can have as many as you want or as few as you want. Um, again, where I generally get mostly based the uh, quality or, you know, let's say the overall experience of the items is like if they're hot and fresh. Same as the sweet potato casserole. Amazingly delicious. Just like I said, I can't get enough. And as I was kind of getting to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'll throw in a little bit of fruit. Again, fruit, vegetables, meats, generally what I enjoy here. Um, so I had some uh, cantaloupe, which the cantaloupe was all right. It was pretty solid. I find generally Golden Corral will have um, honeydew melon, cantaloupe, oranges, and then uh, a little less often, but very common still, the pineapple, and then sometimes strawberries. And if they don't just have the fresh strawberries available, often you can get them. Um, if you go over to the fondue station, is normally they have like a chocolate fondue station, and you either should be able to get them plain right off the line, or you can ask the individual like, hey, I see there's chocolate covered strawberries, can I get some fresh strawberries? That's something I'll do quite often. And uh, just one way that I, I, again, further get my fruits. And for myself, it's very easy to pound strawberries or you know whatever it may be. So again, something that I like to do. I had a couple of orange slices, not something I would always normally get, but just I wanted some fruit and that's what was available. And they were solid, they're all right. Um, you know, nothing too super special. 
So then here I want to try, uh, basically, well, I don't want to say try, but sticking with kind of the items I already found. I did have a piece of their meatloaf here. Uh, meatloaf was good. I find sometimes the meatloaf is covered in ketchup, sometimes it's covered in gravy, again, depending on the geographical location in the country, but the meatloaf is also, again, habitually good. Having some more of that sweet potato casserole, which was very, very hot, but so delicious. Yeah, sure, man. Now often when I'm out and about, individuals will come up and say hello and please, I encourage it. Everybody, don't feel bad. I have some people be like, oh, you know, they'll comment on a video be like, I saw you somewhere but I was too shy to go say hi. Just come say hello. I'm always welcoming, even if I'm eating in the middle of a video, you know, come say hello, come say hi, um, you know, come get a photo, whatever you want. I'm always so happy for individuals to come up and say hello and I really appreciate it. And by the way, thank you so much for watching. That means a lot to me. Again, going to some more of this catfish. The catfish was kind of the item that I was identifying was probably the I was most enjoying today is the freshest the most flavorful and again just dripping it in that hot sauce I love hot sauce. I mean, I basically will go through a bottle of hot sauce in like a big meal like this uh, You know if, if it's there at my disposal, so let's just say I get my hot sauce fill at Golden Corral, too Besides that again, I got a little more fruit um, kind of got the more of the cantaloupe the melons. It was all right you know, I've had some, you know, that are obviously very, very ripe. And in fact, I would go as far to say a ripe cantaloupe is just like, it's fantastic. It is an amazing fruit. But I find a lot of people have never had a ripe cantaloupe. Or it's, you know, if they have their far and few in between. Because a lot of them are like, a lot of people's experience with cantaloupe is, you know, they'll get them in like a fruit tray or they'll go out somewhere like this where it's pre-cut. And, you know, they're cutting the melons you know, the cantaloupes, whatever, regardless of how ripe they are. But buy one at the store, take one home, let it ripen up till you literally smell it. Not, you know, like in a good way. You smell that it's sweet. And man, that is a good cantaloupe. Um, kind of switch things up. I got a little more of the pot roast. I got some of the potatoes in the pot roast. I got some corn, which I never get. And man, I was not having that corn. Um, it was, you know, again, there's very few items at the Golden Crow that I would say like I don't enjoy or these are not good, but I did not enjoy this corn. I've never gotten it before and it was not, I was not having it. But the potatoes cooked with the pot roast were good. Um, they cooked the pot roast with potatoes, onions, celery, and carrots. And all of that, I like to get that mix put a little hot sauce on it, but it's already kind of in a little bit of a gravy from the pot roast. And then of course I got a little more of the sweet potato casserole. Um, again, man, that is, a, that is a good item there, I'll tell you that. Again, I don't ever eat too much of the sweet potato casserole, uh, as it's quite, mm, let's just say it's not the, mo uh, like I said, it's, it's cool. there's quite a bit of butter and sugar and stuff in there, so enjoy it, you know, but when a, a day that I'm, you know, just eating normally, I'm not trying to splurge, I'm watching my calories, I'm trying to eat pretty healthy, it's an item that I'll, I definitely will have in moderation. Um, you know, whereas I'll eat a little bit more of the like plain steamed broccoli, you know, the green beans are very low in calories. Um, you know, just a great way for me to eat, you know, I, I like to eat large amounts of food. So I, eat, I choose foods which are not as calorically dense or don't have as many calories. Um, here I had a little bit of the banana pudding, just a little bit of dessert I was going to have. On this trip, I really tried to cut my dessert a bit. Um, I find if I do, I generally uh, will keep off a little bit of weight. Um, a little bit more weight I should say so believe it or not yes I do gain weight um, but I try to keep it off as much as possible now this banana pudding at uh, Golden Crow when it's good man it is good it can be fluffy it can be really nice um, obviously banana-y but it can be really creamy really delicious and this was a time where it was very very good I've had it where it's like runny and not as great but when it is good it is good here bananas Nilla wafers all the above um, so kind of the last thing I want to do, I want to get a little more fruit in my life, so I want to grab some more oranges. Um, as again, the cantaloupes were alright, the first oranges I had were pretty good. These oranges again were, they weren't bad, um, it kind of varied orange to orange, I mean it kind of makes sense. You know, there's let's say 10 different oranges in the tray, uh, you know, some are going to be riper than others, and they were all solid, so no real complaints about that. Um, but overall, that's pretty much about it. So this is kind of my Golden Crow experience. Again, this is kind of just what I all I wanted to eat in one day and one meal. Um, just kind of my, uh, and I guess that's basically how you put it. If I was if I was doing one meal a day, which I don't normally do, but this is what my one meal looked like: lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, some meats, um, and uh, that's about that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, till next time, happy eating.
Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.